A lot of ocean. A lot of ocean. Inbound, three o'clock. Damn it! It was a sausage fest. For Angie as a director there, she had to kind of understand uh, a lot of what it is to be male. And one thing I enjoyed about the film as well is that, you know, all, all of them, all of them beats, you know, when we all engage with each other, felt very organic on the day. And I think it, I think that translates on the screen as well. And she nurtured that, you know. There were no initiations really. No, but, um, we it was a good, it was a good, <laughs> it was a good spirit. Like it was, um, yeah, we were, we were sort of bonded over the fact of, um, you know, all being there every day and and uh, all, all of us sort of on a strict calorie mm, reduced mm, diet. Mm. So we were kind of, you know, bonding yeah. around our steamed vegetables. Yeah. And, there was a lot um, of discussions of meals and <laughs> the meals we were all going to have. Yeah, when we came up. yeah. But, which was great because that's what the you know the POWs did. Oh, that's true. Back in the war, yeah. That's know. actually true. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, she, she knows the region. She played Lara Croft, and that's the Derby creation. And so, uh, so when I told her this, she was worried that she got the accent wrong. But I think even Lara Croft herself was well spoken. She was from Mikalova. That only really means something in Derby, doesn't it? I remember the plank. The plank was rough. It was tough stuff, but I knew it was going to be, and I had my sights set on that day, maybe a month or two prior to. So I had preparation on my side and adrenaline. For me, anyway, it would be the probably the kind of um, preparation in terms of losing two stone to, you know, start the, the filming. I think mm. was the, but you know, it was it was five weeks of not eating much and doing lots of running. I mean, there, were, you know, it was not the most healthy thing, but there are worse things to do. And um, in terms of, you know, what the men who were actually there went through, there was literally nothing. So mm. I guess it was just an appropriate kind of nod towards the fact that they wouldn't have been carrying much weight. I think it's the things that you can't foresee. You know, the really trivial things when you're already having a hard day and the sun's out and you're trying to look cold, for instance, and you're in Australian summer. Um, these things add up. Well, un underneath the plank I blacked out twice. Hello, mother and father. This is your loving son, Louis. This will be the first time in two years that you'll have heard from me. I'm uninjured and in good health. If he drops it, shoot him. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.